smell of bacon, eggs, coffee, toast, wafted up from a massive tent. He tilted his small head back, breathing in the aromas. His stomach growled. Donald K. Johnson, a lieutenant in the Seabees, the U.S. Navy's construction battalion, held a clipboard and checked off the morning's accomplishment. The infirmary tent, the infirmary tent was complete. Now the medics and the doctors had a decent place to treat the soldiers. The showers were. John and his men Johnson and his men had been busy since dawn, and it was now noon. He dismissed them, then took a moment and touched the breast pocket and held a photo of his wife and two sons. It had been more than a year since he'd seen them. When the lieutenant turned to go, he spied something in the tall grass on the hill. Was that a child? He waved, a small hand waved. Johnson knelt to look at the child's thin face. He tried out his high school French. Combat l'appel to the boy's sparkly blue eyes shone. Gilbert. Johnson shook his hand. This little guy looked like he could use a good meal. And the camp had more than enough food. In his halting French, he invited Gilbert to have lunch. When the boy nodded, Johnson lifted him onto his lap, as he might have done with one of his own sons, and headed for the nest tent. Inside, dozens of young soldiers ate, talked, claimed their cutlery. Gilbert's eyes grew wide. Johnson piled two plates.